Frozen Tomb, there we go. Perfect. Comes in with a little song. mid, so maybe trying to get the tempo advantage around the mid lane while Ian has to recall. Raze is all alone. Yeah, Beyond going low, but the Cocoon comes through and Raze, he gets popped. TP will be canceled by Ixu in the end. He's going to get a little bit of a push going through in mid. She's the best. I love hearing her make weird noises. Bell gonna come down, Shockwave comes through, takes a lot of damage off of Ray. Oh, baby! And he just gets popped, tries to flash away, but gets taken down in the end. Max will get slowed up and chipped away at by that curtain call, but now Jin Air gonna get some alone time with the turret who's on. Now he's not done yet, making the map play, going up to the top lane with that TP. Trying to kill Beyond, won't be able to find it, having actual damage. Colonel does get started here though. ADD has roamed all the way down. Sandy United used onto races. He tries to push in. Dragon going low. Can he find this? Is it the answer's gonna be yes, Beyond smites that one away. Now the fight has broken out. Max gets jumped on. He goes down. They're able to trade one back on a snowfire, but now Teddy completely untouched on the top side of the fight, firing away with the curtain call. Won't land that last hit here onto ADD, but Ixu goes in, gets the taunt. Big ring of frost from Kuzon. Locks him down. They take him out. There'll be two members lost on the side of Jin Air, but they find three. Yeah, so many different players on the yeah. side of... To ask about that, Elise. Oh, well, Teddy pushing forward. Beyond goes in, kicks him back. Stand United coming down. Wild Growth as well, keeping the Jin alive long enough for Ixu to arrive, but he has to go ahead and Shadow Dash out to safety as quickly as he can. Beyond's trying to stick to him like glue. Depth Charge coming through from ADD as he TPs in. Pops up Snowflower. Kuzan finds an entry over the wall, comes in. Trying to lock down Beyond, he will go down. No safeguards, out to safety. Keeps himself up. So he's there for Kuzan, keep himself alive at least for a moment. But in the end, he will go down and Beyond and manages to stay alive. Three kills, pick, find it here, Raze. Does have the smite, has the flash. No collateral damage, so has to go into the pit if he wants to come up with a steal. Still being thrown down here by Snowflower. MVP buying some time, he goes in, he, he takes it. it away, and he flashes right back over the pit. Snowflower, he won't be as fortunate, but Rays comes up with the steal, and MVP have to be shaking their heads. Well, we bring in an LPL custom again. Oh, no, who's on? And Rays are wrapping around. Turret's still here, but Ixu, he can ignore that. ADD going to be the target. Pops in the depth charge yet again. Megan for a while. Comes down. Shockwave layered on. Kuzon falls. They trade one back on to Beyond. And it looks like the remaining members of MVP can retreat. They're going to lose this top turret. Jin Air now. Baron Buff still on multiple members. Tier 2 turret alive. Kurt Gull's going to get opened up here. Max. Get jumped on Kuzon. Unable to throw down that frozen tomb. So he might just go ahead and peel back. Beyond going in. Shockwave comes through. But the Wild Growth is down onto Kuzon. He goes straight into the zone. He's keeping himself alive. That's two members on the side of MVP falling. Both of the junglers go down. And oh boy. Well, here TP's coming through from Ixu. Could be Kuzon. Let's see which one it is. It's going to be the Shen. Channeling his way through as they try to lock down this Nautilus. They want to start an Angel. Tanky. Yeah, dashes away with the dredge line. Flashes over the wall. Redemption. We'll just barely clip him over the wall. He stays alive at least for now. But Maha gets jumped on Kuzan, throwing down the frozen tomb. They're able to take him out as he goes into the Tony. A shockwave pulls in three members, but the redemption just undoes all across the pit. So they see this going down. Baron They've already been down here to half HP. TP coming through now from ADD, straight inside the pit. Jinair gonna try to disengage, but they're gonna get pinched on. Big shockwave coming through from Ian, but the damage doesn't really register enough for Jinair to be threatened. Then he firing off with the curtain call. Just gonna be body blocked by ADD as he pushes right up into his face. So Flower and Rays both quite low. Can't really enter the fight. They might just have the disengage coming through from Jin Air. Dredge line from ADD not going to connect. Ixu goes in. Beyond getting locked down by the Deadly Flourish. Takes a lot of damage. And Teddy is able to pop him with that. Kuzan's coming back break. in. ADD going low. Out of mana. Has to try to head for Watch the hill. Watch Kuzan. But he gets taunted. Now Kuzan has come in with that TP. ADD flashing over the wall. Trying to buy some time for his team. Just juking out on everything that he possibly can. Won't be enough. Will lose that Guardian Angel. Will lose his life. And Jin Air. Could just go right back over to that Baron. There's no threat of a smite seal. The last few skirmishes have been the confirmation of this single damage type burst. It can be sustained through. Redemption, Locket, Magic Resist, stacking on multiple members. It means that MVP just does not have the damage to push through the health bars of Jin Air. It will pick up a much cleaner Baron than we've seen multiple times this series. Go in by himself. Kuzan finally splits. Doesn't have teleport, so will take time to rotate to mid. Coming MVP, in, this is the time. On the Teddy. Megan for the bomb draws it back in. The shockwave gets the pop. 
Ian finds one. Snowflower should go down. Polymorph Sonic will be on to try to keep himself alive. At least for a bit longer. Sonic Wave comes through. Resonating Strike goes forward. Race just kiting out this Lee Sin perfectly, keeping himself alive. Snowflower dies. Two kills go over to MVP, and they hold on to the turrets in both mid and bot. This was the one win. They should be able to take this out unless Rays can get nearby fast enough, but it just does not seem likely. So double Infernal Drake going to be amplified for them. Move up to 24% bonus and have two stacks to go towards that true damage. So a good pickup here for MVP. Is it enough? Banshees, but is it enough? He's going to go ahead and flash away. Taunt comes through. Kuzan's nearby. He's going to pop the heel, try to get enough movement speed to keep himself safe. But the flash forward from Kuzan comes through. They lay down that frozen tomb. Maha does die. They get a lot of damage down onto the Lissandra. And ADD is coming in from the backside. Gets the dredge line, but Kuzan's got the frozen, the glacial path rather. Trying to take himself out. It's not going to be enough as Ian takes him down. Now turning over onto Ixu. They have to mid lane. damage burn, but mid lane is going down. As you say, Teddy and Ray's pushing forward, getting rid of this. Ward's down inside the pit, so they do spot out the HP here. They're trying to lock up Ray's. He gets locked down. Stand United comes Kuzan through. Kuzan on the back line, trying to get on top of Ian. So far, he's all right. Who gets kicked away by the Dragon's Rage into the Zonius goes. Kuzan, as he comes out, he gets obliterated by the Orianna. Nemshin coming down, healing up multiple members of Jin Air. But the stretch line comes through. Shock Take Shockwave! Shockwave. Three members get dragged in and they go down. Teddy gets popped. All the damage for Jin Air has been eliminated. And MVP just playing cleanup now with the rest of them. Ixu will be left alive. MVP. So far, Max taking up the first turret. They turn on to the second one. The minions not there. They're trying to draw Ixu closer so the minions will All right, reduce that's Kuzan. The, the turret. Nexus is exposed. Kuzan comes in, pops Max immediately, but can he stop beyond? Can he stop Ian? The answer is going to be no MVP off of a massive fight around the Baron pit. Come up with the win.